Roland will treat you to
welcome to Hail the Sun's New Age Filth album live stream. Uh, we wanted to do it a little bit different this time around and include our crew because over the years we have worked with the same people uh, consistently. They, at this point, sort of feel like family, as cliche as that sounds, and they are an extension to, but they, they are an extension of Hail the Sun. So why we thought it would be very cool to have them speak about their experience working with us and being on the road with us since our crew works with us on the road and a lot of the times off the road as well. New Age Filth feels, I, I believe I can speak for all of us when I say it feels like the most refined version of Hail the Sun. And throughout our last albums, we always feel that way. But this one, it- It's special. Yeah, it just feels a, a little different. It, it just lands. We took the time to really cut all the fat from it make it every moment matter and i believe that we achieved this i think we all are really excited with how it came out and uh, we put it out on our favorite label equal vision records uh, we want to thank them so much for supporting us over the years this is as shane said our fourth release mm -hmm. on equal vision they've been so good to us they've grown with us we feel like we've grown with them and like in, in the same nature as including our crew, our touring crew, in this uh, live stream, we can say the same about uh, our label. They've just been with us for so many years now, and we all have this family vibe. It feels really good. Uh, songs that we're about to play are off of our fourth release, Mental Knife, and both of them have to do with never being satisfied. So enjoy.
from post surgery. I keep saying this dream isn't real, I'm sure, while I'm looking up at me. My name is Christelle. I have worked for Hail the Sun since 2016. I sell merchandise on and off the road, and I'm one of their designers as well. I've done tapestries, I've done some shirt designs. Yeah, I do a lot of handmade stuff for them though. Working with Hail the Sun is just consistently fun. Even when the work days are long and days on tour are long, days off tour are long, it's still a fun thing because we're all kind of working towards a group. It's a group effort and that's just fun. So my opinion on New Age Filth is, I know the words to the whole album already. It's really good. <laughs> the most fun part about working with Hail the Sun is it's consistently a team effort. It's consistently, I feel consistently supported with them and I think that that's kind of a unique thing. I don't feel like a lot of people in my position as just, a, not just a merch person on tour, but a merch person off tour and actually knitted into a team. Like, it's, it's a cool experience. My favorite moment on tour is probably from my second tour that I ever did with Hill Sun. They made a really sweet birthday post on Instagram about my birthday and come say hi and bring her Pringles because I stopped at the gas station that day and bought Pringles. And over the span of that tour, I collected over 200 cans of Pringles. <laughs> and to this day, people still bring them to me and it's just, it's endearing. I am so full of sodium, I don't need any more, but it's, it's endearing. <laughs> my, my favorite new song from Hail the Sun is Punch Drunk, hands down. We're gonna go back to uh, 2016 now and play a couple songs off of our album, Culture Scars. Both these songs are about reflecting and growing as we will often touch on when writing. So enjoy.
Hail the Sun is more of a family than an employer to me. I work for a lot of different bands, and they are some of the uh, some of the coolest guys I've ever toured with. And I feel closer to them than, than to a lot of my friends back home, honestly. Uh, mixing Hail is always exciting just because of the energy that the crowd gives them, because of what they give the crowd. Um, I can't honestly remember a single show that wasn't exciting in some way. Uh, I'm really excited to mix Domino Live. Uh, subject matter really spoke to me when it came out, and I really relate to that song. I think New Age Filth is very mature compared to a lot of the old Halo Sun releases, and I feel like it's perfect timing for a record like this to come out for Halo Sun. <laughs> oh no! Dude, what's wrong? Oh, uh, what? I'm not crying. Yes, you are. Obviously, something's wrong. You're crying. Oh, um, everyone's just making fun of me because I just like don't know any of like the cool bands anymore. It's hard to talk to you about it because you you like know about all this stuff, but like I just don't know. And like all these other bands, I just don't know. I'm getting like dubs the and they just I just don't know any of the bands Dude, anymore. You know. I have the thing that can help you. I don't think anything can help me, dude. If there is one thing, it's this new magazine I started called Kill Iconic. What's Kill Iconic? Kill Iconic is a magazine that primarily focuses on this community of bands that I feel so a part of and exists all around us. The stuff that you're basically crying about for not knowing. Uh huh. We launched our first issue this last December featuring Michael and Kurt from A Lot Like Birds on the cover. And we just announced our second issue featuring The Fall of Troy on the cover. Whoa. It's printed on premium, high-quality grade paper. Oh, it smells good too. Oh, let me smell. No, it. you have to get your own. How do I get one? Easy. You go to killiconic.com. That's killiconic.com. Subscriptions, single issues. We even have shirts and hoodies that say "I love post whatever" on them. Where? What does it mean if I subscribe? When you subscribe, you get a cheaper rate per issue free shipping, they show up to your house on their own every three months, it's a seasonal publication. Mm. Uh, they're hand numbered and you get the chance to get additional perks like stickers, uh, unique pieces of art, etc. That sounds great. Thanks, dude. That sounds awesome. Yeah. In fact, if you go to killiconic.com this weekend and place an order on a shirt or a hoodie, use the code KILL7, that's K-I-L-L-7 -L for $7 off your order. Do you feel better? I feel so much better. Awesome. I feel so much better. All thanks to Kill Iconic Music Magazine. Who are you looking the at? The best new magazine on the block. Donnie. It's gonna change are your life. Are you okay? Donnie, are you talking to me still? Donnie. I really hope you love hey. it. Hey, hey, hey Donnie. My work with Hail the Sun started primarily with concert photography and in regards to that my, my approach is always to let the band's energy drive the outcome of my work. Donovan was actually the first person to come to me and ask me if I had any interest in directing, shooting, or editing a music video for them. And I, I'd done a few live montages of like concert footage and tour footage, but I've always wanted to do something more conceptually. And working with Hale in that regard is really cool because they kind of just trust me to do whatever I want, which is always, always so nice as an artist. It's 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 cool when I, I can have a vision based on something that they've done, and I can be like, look, this is what I'm gonna do, and they they're just like, yeah, that sounds cool, do it, and then and then I do it. I very much believe I've had a huge hand in developing their visual aesthetic, and I can even remember our early tours together, and watching them towards the end of each tour, each of them would be scrolling through their Instagram page, their band's Instagram page, their own Instagram page, and they'd, they'd say to each other without even realizing that I was there, they'd say something along the lines of, wow, we kind of look like a real band. So I really just take their energy and kind of dance around with it. And I've always tried to maintain that chaos and translate it into the work that we did outside of concert photography. I think New Age Filth is the album that best captures the 
live energy of a Hail the Sun concert. Oh, it's like, you know, they're, they're all such characters, and you, you can really tell that, that they're friends. They're just, there's, there's this, this love between all of them that is just so genuine, and it's, it's really, it's magical to be a part of. I'm, I'm gonna say it, it's magical. So the only reason I got Relax Divide tattooed on my thumb is because I couldn't decide how to phonetically spell out the drum fill going into verse 2. time that you leave my house I fear that your truck lips or crashes I'm always assuming the worst it's not So this next song we're gonna play is probably my favorite song off New Age Filth. It's called Misfire. Um, I love the moods that we take it to and I'm super proud of what we did with it. Um, Alan Casillas had a huge role in, in creating that vibe uh, that this song has. Um, and after that, we're gonna play Major Mark and it's another one of my favorites. Um, it was one of the singles and I hope you enjoy.
In the beginning, I don't think any of us really knew where this was going to go. So a lot of it was just kind of messing around and, you know, drawings here and there. And, you know, oh, here, you guys want to use some of this stuff. And, and you know, as it grew, it got a little bit more, uh, a little more professional than it was before. Um, it's just, I think it's definitely been a humbling experience to, to grow with the band and see the band grow. Being a part of the band's visual aesthetic, it's something again that I, I didn't think that it was gonna ever be anything like that. Um, with the first few albums, well, with the first album, uh, Pal Wright and the Kisser, that was mostly just drawing something up and having fun with it. With everything that I ever create, the only, the hardest part is coming up with an idea and coming up with with a vision. Once that comes to, comes to to my mind, then I'm able to kind of go with it and I can start adding things. After the basic concept is is you know um, created then it's easy to to kind of just start snowballing with what comes into mining and, and get it going so that's the hardest part is just getting it down on paper uh, you know when I first heard the raw files of New Age Filth I heard a lot of Pal Wright and the Kisser and that kind of brought me back to, to the beginning of all this and and it really um, it, it got me it got me kind of excited more so like when it was first all happening not that I'm excited about it all the time but it was one of those things where you know, it kind of brought back some of that old thinking of the beginning, and it was kind of cool to to reinterpret myself. And and just the sound of it is definitely something that's more evolved in Hail the Sun as a band themselves. And and with this piece, um, it was my first piece for the band using watercolor and using ink and pen. So for me, it's an evolution. So I think that Hail the Sun and me working together with this album, both we're on an evolutionary path to, you know, progressing in, in who we are as artists. You know, me and my brother have been close since, you know, uh, I was 14, I bought a guitar, I needed somebody to play drums, so I, I taught him and showed him how to play drums on some pots and pans, and from there, you know, he's he became an awesome musician. And so, um, and also, like I've said previously, you know, they're all like little brothers to me. Uh, you know, I've known Eric since Eric was in middle school, and. You know, it's a, it's a family thing more than just you know uh, a business or a job or you know whatever it is. It's it's more than that. You know, we we all we work really well together because we've known each other for so long. You know, and 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 they're super cool guys. You know, I mean anybody that goes to a show and just talk to them afterwards, they're they're real personable. You know, and they're real intimate with their fans, and and that's the same kind of relationship that I have with them. So when we work, yeah, I, we may be a little more opinionated on things, but for the most part. We, we, we can come together in agreement and get something down and, and so far it's been working working pretty good so I mean I, I really enjoy working with Hail the Sun.
My name is Alan Casillas, and I played live drums for Hella Sun, and I'm also a songwriter collaborator with him. The song that means the most to me from the album would probably have to be Domino, because uh, I feel like that song and, and what I did collaboratively with them was, um, I feel like that marked the first time where Donnie kind of put his guard down and he allowed himself to take direction and we got to explore stuff outside of what he normally likes to do vocally. A lot of cool tricks. Um, I've always wanted to explore that with him. And I feel like I had the perfect opportunity to do that. My role in different songs for the album, depending on the song, uh, I helped write the majority of the drum parts. And in some cases it was more like, I've been working with Halo Sun for so long that I sort of know what Donnie would want to use. Uh, so it was either I'm putting stuff down that he, it's like, hey, I was thinking that exact same thing or just modifying some of his parts so that they flow better or just uh, working with him to maximize like the impact of his, his lyrics or his melodies just so every single moment just kind of flows and you just feel everything. The song that I'm looking forward to playing most live, that's a tough answer, but I might have to choose either Parasitic Cleanse, just a because of how intense it is. Or slander or domino. I don't know. One of those three just because they just they just feel so driving. They just make you want to just go crazy. My opinion on New Age Filth, and I've been saying this since before they hit the studio, is that it's their best album, it's their best body of work that they've ever created. The most fun part of working with Hell the Sun is that it's so natural and easy. We have the same kind of humor, we're all the same age. So it's just it just works. I feel like a perfect fit. I feel like this is my family. It's just, it's easy. It, it feels like it's meant to be. Human Target Practice is just one of a handful of songs that Hail the Sun has written uh, centered around the atrocities uh, associated with positions of power. Uh, we're gonna close out the set here with two more that live in the same vein and that portray one of our core messages, uh, which is to question everything and think deeply.
signs of the killing fashion done eternally so we beg for their protection and they all sin so they need God that's the phone concern that we will give to send our men This is the very last song. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a parasitic cleanse off of New Age Filth.
Thank you, everybody, uh, who has watched this uh, stream of our new album, New Age Filth. We hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you haven't, go buy it right now. It's on platforms that I can't tell you what are. <laughs> <laughs> we came out, it released yesterday, and we are so incredibly stoked on how it came out and how receptive you've all been. Uh, it, it's crazy to be on this journey still and feeling like we're growing not only with the people that we work with at all times, but also the people who support us. So if you get a chance, pick up the album, let us know your thoughts on it, and we can't wait to see you on a tour. Thanks, guys. Thank you. See ya. Thank you.